The following recipe makes six muffins. We want to write the recipe for three dozen muffins. So here's the given recipe for six muffins. So for some background information, one dozen is equal to twelve. So if we want three dozen muffins, twelve times three is equal to thirty-six. We need a total of thirty-six muffins, and this recipe is only for six muffins. And since six times six is equal to thirty-six, we'll have to take all of these quantities here and multiply by six to determine the new recipe. So for example, if it takes one cup of soy milk for six muffins, one times six is equal to six, it'll take six cups of soy milk for thirty-six muffins. If it takes two eggs, two times six is twelve, it'll take twelve eggs for thirty-six muffins. And now notice the remaining products will involve fractions, so we'll have to show some work for those. To determine how much wheat flour we need, we'll have one and two-thirds times six. So we'll convert these to improper fractions. So for one and two-thirds, we'll have three times one plus two, that'll be five-thirds times six as six over one. Notice three and six share a common factor of three. Let's go ahead and show that. We'll have five over three times three times two over one. So these threes simplify to one. We're left with ten over one, so it takes ten cups of wheat flour to make thirty-six muffins. Next, we'll have one-half times six for the amount of salt. One-half times six would just be one-half times six over one. We have a common factor of two here, so this is equal to three over one, or just three. So it takes three teaspoons of salt to make thirty-six muffins. And then for the amount of baking powder, we would have one and one-half times six. Well, one and one-half as an improper fraction would be two times one plus one, so that would be three over two times six over one. And again, this simplifies. It's a common factor of two between the two and the six here and here. So this product is equal to nine over one, or just nine. So it takes nine teaspoons of baking powder to make thirty-six muffins, or three dozen muffins. So here's the recipe to make three dozen muffins.